Sunday? Oh, no way, same day. On September 2nd. On Sunday? No way. Yeah, sorry. Sorry, my life. Dude! That's funny. Happy that's birthday. Crazy. Happy birthday. Are you serious? Yeah. Happy birthday, sorry, my life. I have my wallet. I'm going to my That's so wild. Cool. so funny. Yeah.
Good evening and welcome to Cochrane Stadium where your Bowling Green State University Falcons are taking on the Michigan State Spartans. Uh, I am Stephen Jenkins joined by my co-commentator Joe Sullivan. Uh, it's a balmy evening. It's, uh, it's uh, I would say low 70s and it's spitting rain. But if the weather holds, this is not bad. Not yeah, bad it's weather. Good soccer weather. And more importantly, we've got a huge game. Uh, Michigan State ranked uh, third in the country. Uh, we know the kind of talent they have year in, year out, playing in the Big Ten. It's a big game. Yeah, absolutely. I think it'll be, it's a huge test for the Falcons tonight. You know, I think this is their first real, real strong team that they're coming to play straight out of the gate. And what an awesome opportunity they have in front of them tonight, playing the third team in the country. And, you know, it's unfair, but on Sunday, uh, September 2nd, which I have to note is my birthday and also Joe's birthday. We just found that out about each other. I don't think we're twins. No. I don't think there's anything weird like that. I'm a lot older than you. But it's, <laughs> it's kind of cool. But we were there for – we went to get to be there for, for the first W, the 3-2, but uh, against Western Illinois. But we got the win, so we're in the win column now. Your younger brother had something to do with that, with a goal. Uh I think Coach would lament the two goals, the two late goals uh, from Western Illinois. But overall, always good to get into that win column. Yeah, I talked to a couple of guys on the team. They just said everyone was just really excited to just leave Western Illinois with a W. You know, it yeah. wasn't pretty at the end, like you said, 3-2. Yep. Well, it's a 3-0 game, came to 3-2, but a win's a win. Then the day, we'll look back, we'll take it, and get on the bus and get home. And, you know, something you and I talked about, the game on the 31st against Wright State, we were here for that whole thing. Two overtimes, it ended up nil-nil. Not a super entertaining game for the fans, but what we did see was uh, was BG keep that clean sheet, which was important, I think, just to get some defensive stability uh, and kind of find the identity in the back. I think, I think the game against Western Illinois kind of – the, the score isn't quite accurate from what I saw. We were pretty defensively solid until the very end. So I think that's something that the Falcons will look to carry forward uh, today. And look at these beautiful orange kits. Tonight is orange out, so if you're on your way to the game, uh, don't forget to throw an orange <laughs> shirt on. Or if you're watching at home, throw an orange shirt on. We can feel the energy from here, and I know the players can too. So uh, Falcons will be attacking the, uh, the southern goal. Uh, while the Spartans attack uh, the north goal here. So what do you know about Michigan State? Uh, really good team, obviously. You know, they enter the game coming in third in the country. But from all the times we played them growing up, uh, they're very organized. They don't give you a lot of chances in the game. So when you do get your chances, you got to put them away. Yep. And then they're just looking. They've they've beaten BG a handful of times, just one zero. Yeah. So close yeah. games, so close battles. I think one zero score. What one zero was the score last year? So they kind of grind you down. If they find that goal, then yep. they, they they stay very compact. Put they're a lot very of guys behind organized the ball. defensively. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So they're tough to break. Yep. And the Falcons, for the first few games at least, did have some some problems scoring. So uh, we'll see. I like to think we've got that figured out. Like you and I have talked about before, kind of better to start cool, I think, and build up ahead of steam than start really hot and kind of uh, fizzle out. So, I agree, absolutely. And it looks like BG's changing up the formation a little bit today. They're yeah, tell me what you see. Tate Robertson starting yep. up at the center forward, so they're leaving Chris Brennan, who normally um, starts up there. He's come, he'll come off the bench tonight. It looks like. So trying to keep that high energy all the time. Fresh legs will be high energy, high energy. Absolutely. And they're probably just looking for Tate to try to get an early goal. You know, maybe yep. Brennan's in a little bit of a slump for his standards. Yep. Maybe Tate comes in and gives him a little spark. That and I know made. how competitive Chris is. He probably hates coming off the bench. So, yeah, I mean, he's happy to exactly. he's happy to do it. But, you know, when he comes in, he's going to be uh, he's going to be a ball of energy. Absolutely. And that's exciting for him, too. Yep. Good touch there by Tate. Just a whole Great possession touch. for the Falcons there. A little outside of the boot. Great to see all the orange out here in the crowd today. Yeah, packed stadium tonight. Absolutely. Tate is wearing the captain's uh, band here as well. Michigan State with some early possession down the line. Pretty even game so far. Both teams kind of just feeling each other out. Yep. But 
Yeah, a sloppy pass for Michigan State, but it kind of actually ended up working. Yeah. <laughs> I think it was a no look on both parties uh, parts, but the uh, Spartans will have a corner kick. So. And that's another thing about Michigan State. They're pretty athletic from year over year. Yeah, so absolutely. They're, like they're good on set pieces. This looks like it was kind of a plan short and then reship it in. Great defense for the Falcons yeah, as well they swarm. Defended. See if they can break on a counter here. Michigan uh, takes the ball again. Good Great header there. away from Mo. That really needed to be cleared. Falcons just looking to get up now, get up and get out, bring the line high. They're sitting in. Michigan State doing a really good job of kind of keeping them tra trapped in there. communication there between Mo and Anthony. I think Mo thought Anthony was going to come out for it. It was one of those dribblers where you weren't quite sure if it was going to get to, the, make penalty it to the penalty area. area. Yeah, exactly. yeah. Heavy with a huge clearance there. Great skill from Connor Corrigan to just uh, deflect that right now to uh, Hunter Barone. Number seven for the Spartans. Well, we don't have that sun glare issue that we talked about last <laughs> week. <laughs> pretty gloomy. Day, Not at yeah. all. It's pretty gloomy, but uh, early goal would do a lot here for the Falcons. Good defense there by Jensen. Ooh, Charlie makes a great yeah. pass to Tate's foot. They're going to have he's going to have trouble getting through that uh, Michigan State defense. Like you said, they're pretty well organized able to get out. Zach Fisher with the uh, interception there. Uh, actually, that might have been top real. Yeah, number five. Yeah. This is kind of what we mentioned on previous games as well. The Falcons more than happy to kind of just to sit back, have Michigan State have possession in their end. You know, they're not going to score from all the way out there. Right. It's more collapsing than when the ball does eventually. Michigan State does eventually work it forward. Michigan State breaking its, its numbers here. PG pretty organized at the back, though. Oh, cross right across the face of goal. Nobody home. Charlie, well defended there by Charlie Macheski. Yeah, brought in the back down, staying yep. strong on the ball. Draws a foul, gives Beachy an opportunity to get up and get out. And that was well defended by Beachy on the back post there. Come on, BG, let's go. Ref tried to play advantage there. Peter Kuglis brought down. It's a good spot here for the Falcons to set up for a, a free kick. To bring in Mo Mustafa, Ebi Akan, some of your bigger, taller ball winners into the box, and look to see Tate Robertson deliver a, some good service from this angle. Boy, I am ready for Tate to connect on one of these for a BG goal. <laughs> it seems like we watched him take a lot of set pieces. We know how good he is, especially with those uh, putting whip on the ball. Just need to find that perfect connection. That's a pretty good one out. Maybe, maybe I jinxed it there. Looking to find Mo Mustafa on the back post, yeah. kind of that late runner who's going to try to head it back. We've yeah. seen that a lot this year. We have. 
Michigan State will take the goal kick pretty quick. Try to build up from their back. Yeah, play it to feet from the back. <coughs> Would you say that's a sign of a of a top nationally ranked team playing defeat out the back or not really? Uh, I, I, I would say if they have the opportunity and they get the chance to do so, then yeah, yeah they'll take advantage of it. But not you won't see every team play like that. No. You definitely will Akron later on in the year. Now that was an important foul because uh, Number 11, Ryan Sirakowski could have been uh, away on goal there. Well, working hard for that one. Ball girl's a little excited to get involved there. <laughs> Hey, we like that excitement. We, like we always say, we appreciate our young uh, ball boys and ball girls and hope to see them playing on the field at some point in their future. She's been working on her throw-ins, <laughs> I think. Falcon's gonna elect to set up for a long throw here. Tate Robertson on the throw. Good long throw, boy. Zach Fisher will uh, scoop the ball up, send it back into play. It's like an unfortunate bounce there. Wow, Anthony with an ambitious ball. Yep. He's just being safe there. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if that was a pass or a clearance or maybe a little, little, little column A, a little yeah. column B. <laughs> you see this time the Falcons make Michigan State play along this time. They keep their up, their forwards up and their wing backs up. It's Tom Robo battling again for these aerial duels. But BG has looked pretty good uh, all season in the air. Zach Fisher with a great tackle. And then Vinnie Warrior with a little body faint there. Good move there by Vinny yeah. on the outside. Let's go Falcons. Let's go Falcons. Zach Fisher's hair is not too, he's hes always ready for orange job, <laughs> isn't he? He lives for this game. He lives for this game. And then when we do the whiteout, Charlie. He's it's more of his go, day. <laughs> Just misplaced pass by Bo. Thought he was going to find Charlie's foot there. Good high line there by Anthony Mwambia just to be off his line. Yeah, he was aware. He was ready for that through ball. Oh, beautiful Great pass. There by Jensen. Let's see what the Falcons can do with this. Numbers here. Wow. Well defended there by Michigan State to get behind the ball. Yeah. Yeah, just Charlie and... The winger's not quite on the same page there. You know, I read, uh, speaking of long free throws, I read that Liverpool actually employs a, uh, a free throw, uh, throw-in coach, not free throw, but a throw-in coach dedicated just to throw-ins. Huh. Yeah, and uh, that's got to be one of the most specialized jobs out there. I guess you could have a dive specialist that helps <laughs> your players dive better. That would be... Uh, His name's Neymar. Yeah, Neymar. You could hire him. He doesn't even need the money. <laughs> He would teach like the PhD course. Like, <laughs> the, <laughs> the upper level. Yeah. Pretty even game so far. We're about 15 minutes in. Yeah, not a lot of chances. I'd say chances. BG's maybe had the better of attack. Both teams kind of just feeling each other out.
Bow with a great header away. Zach Fisher collects. Here's Ebby. We haven't said his name much, but uh, he is always making a big impact in the game. Yeah, I'm sure we'll say it a lot tonight. We will. Good job by him just to kind of keep possession, try to find feet. Yep. Forces Michigan State to kick it out for a throw. viewers throughout the uh, throughout the state throughout the country I know of uh, folks watching from uh, Seattle Washington some folks out in San Francisco New York City as Anthony scrambles to get back to the line <laughs> here oh he tried to cut in he tried to he tried the iron robin cut in but from the other <laughs> from the other side. And there just wasn't anything there. Falcons too organized in the back. And look at Ebby win that ball, maybe a little soft. The ref's gonna flag him for the ball. Yeah. But yeah, we, we're happy for all of our viewers tuning in uh, from across the country. A lot of former Falcons who are excited about soccer, excited about Falcon soccer. And uh, we wanna thank WBGU for setting this up. Awesome. Uh, Awesome service, awesome staff. Absolutely. Good people all around here at BGSU. Good opportunity and a free kick here for Michigan State. Good save by Anthony, good hold. But speaking of Seattle, this feels like Seattle weather, doesn't it? Yeah, a little, a little. spitting rain, it's a little, can't decide if it's cold or hot, muggy. A little bit of everything, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But great soccer weather. I'm sure the boys are Absolutely. very excited to be playing in it. What would you say your ideal temp playing temp is? Probably, like Probably 70, 65, 70, 70 would be good, yeah. yeah. That's about what I have my AC at. So <laughs> that's me watching soccer. I do a lot of <laughs> soccer watching at that temperature, uh, maybe 68, 70. So this is perfect for you. Yeah. <laughs> Usually it's a TV. <laughs> <laughs> good job by the ref there. He's in a good position. Tate Robertson doing a good job of just holding up play, getting held from behind. The ref was in a really good spot. Makes a good call. Uh, what would it mean for, for Bowling Green to find the first goal here? Be It'd huge. be huge, yeah, absolutely. Because then it kind of it kind of has to make Michigan State come out a little bit more than yep. what they're doing. They're kind of sitting back a little. Makes them have to attack a little bit more. But, you know, I think Michigan State as a number three team, they can't afford to take their foot off the gas. They need to be in win mode. I think even away they're not trying to draw games. So uh, I think we can expect a, a pretty pretty wide open game. Yeah, especially both teams looking to win this one, absolutely. absolutely. Yeah. Early on in the year. Yeah. No, no sense sitting back and looking for a draw at any no. point. Yeah, we were talking before the game. I said, you know, maybe the Falcons would be happy with the draw here. And you said, no, we got to win this one. Yeah, that's <laughs> and that's a player's that. attitude, right? That's a great that's a great attitude. I know that's what Coach wants from the players, too. So it's not being happy with the draw, even against the top-ranked team. Absolutely. It's, hey, we well, want to win, especially Orange out. We're at home. A lot of people here. I think that's just PG's here. mentality. They never enter a game yeah. looking, saying, you know, I'm happy with the draw. No, no. BG looking here to just get a little possession. Work their way into the game a little bit more. When do you think we'll see Chris Brennan? I don't know. I'll be interested to see. I, I bet. We're about we're about 20 minutes through the uh, first half here. He's kind of that him. secret weapon. When he comes on uh, Michigan State, I'm, we, you know, they've they played him in years past, but he will definitely add another level of energy. Absolutely, and I'm looking for him, you know, he's not used to coming off the bench, so when he does get his opportunity, oh, yeah. I, I bet he's gonna be flying around. Yeah. Good ball good in ball there, in. ball might fall to Vinny. Yeah. Well collected by number 18, Michael Miller. Yeah, defended well by Tate, forces a, cor yeah. forces a throw in instead of uh, progression down the wing. Absolutely, and Michael Miller, familiar name for my brother, him and. They played on the same club team growing up, so very familiar with one another. Oh. 
Midfield really organized here. Tate shouting orders. And that comes from the central defense as well. They're yeah. letting people know who can push on. Yeah, who really needs to organized. Stay. Right Absolutely. Right Great shape from the Falcons there. And that's our Mo. Oh. oh boy, that's a soft. Yeah. I, I don't that's know about just that Mo one. being a lot stronger. Yeah. <laughs> If you run into a brick wall, that's your own fault. That's a tough one, but as long as the ref's consistent the rest of the game, yeah. you know, we'll look to have BG get a few of those. That was a, that was a tough call there. It's in a nasty spot, too. Yeah, it's going to let him up. take it a little further back. I'm surprised. I think that ball is should be two or three feet closer, which would be better for us. Yeah, so Hard really to get these up and down, but that's a – This is a really good spot here for Michigan State. Yeah, this is dangerous. But, hey, we know how good Anthony is. Yep, you see him directing the wall, letting yep, him know. Yep. He doesn't get beat on uh, these kind of free kicks very often. Number seven, Hunter Barone here to take it. He does. Takes a deflection. Yeah, and good job by the wall there. Very active. So it's going to be hard to beat them from there. Yeah. Not sure. It looked maybe like Charlie Macheski got his head on that one or Vinnie Warner, one of the yeah. two. Good job there. Just That's to some be bravery active. to yeah. get your head on it, too. That I was agree. coming in hot. I don't think he hit it hard enough, even if it did go over the wall. Anthony had that one covered. Yeah. I believe this is Michigan State's second quarter. Ref's going to say goal kick, so well defended there by BG. BG gets out of a little trouble here. You mentioned Chris Brennan a couple minutes ago. I see him warming up in the corner. So. Yep. I'll be interested, interested to see how the Falcons kind of rotate in. Yeah, see work, working out with Zach Mason over there. Yeah. I know our stats and scoreboard teams, I heard them talking about Chris Brennan, they call him Dash, because he, when he runs, <laughs> he looks like Dash from Incredibles <laughs> too, or just Incredibles, I guess. Yeah, that's But funny. it's kind of true, he's got the same haircut. I think it's a, a compliment. Baby face. Yeah, yeah, a little baby face. There, we were talking about that early throw. Good throw there by Tate Robertson. Finds Chris Sullivan. Oh, can Chris cross? Oh, oh boy. Try, try to cut it back for Tate. Yeah, that was a that was a good chance. Maybe Tate. We'll look to see a little more of that, like, of that out of the Falcons. That other play, yeah. Kind of make something out of nothing. That happened from a long throw. Just a quick did. throw by Tate. Yep. Good awareness. Good run there by Chris Sullivan as well. I think uh, I think Coach Nichols will be happy with what he's seen so far. About yeah. halfway through the uh, the first half, Falcons well organized, not flustered at all. Few attacking opportunities. I think uh, both of the corners were defended very well. Absolutely, free kicks defended well, organized well. And yeah, neither team really having that really good chance yet early yep. in the game, which yeah. Uh, Zach with a great tackle, got yeah. unlucky with. Where the ball went. Numbers here for Michigan State. And well defended there on the back post by Peter Puglis, kind of just doing enough to throw the Risky, Michigan State. risky yeah. header, too. Boy, he really uh, put his head in there. He did, yep. Michigan State's turn to just keep some possession, work their way in. Tom Roble with the header, and that needed to be back and away because if it was back and down, he would have uh, played the ball right into the foot of uh, attacking Michigan State player. Michigan State going to do their version of a long throw. And ref, ref calls him for a, a push off there. So well defended by BG.
I've been really impressed so far. You know, we're about 25 minutes into the half. I've been impressed by Jensen Lukasko, you know, freshman, starting his first real big game against number three team yeah, in the country. You him. know, a lot of people here. Almost hard to see any any open seats in the stands. Yep. And he's done absolutely nothing but deliver. And Very here, composed. Speaking of him, good job just getting the ball, find feet. Numbers here for the Falcons. Oh, little good dummy through to Tate. Beautiful dummy. He'll play it out wide to Vinny Warner. Would cut Covers right here back for the Falcons. In. Yep, look to see him. Oh, uh, couldn't get possessed. the ball out from underneath his foot, it looked like. Ooh. Good hustle here by Charlie. Charlie winning that ball back. Yep. Forces a mistake. Zach Fisher wins there, the yeah. ball very cleanly and then immediately turns Numbers an attack. Here. Very powerful. You'd like to see maybe more Falcons make a run. Uh, flag goes up. Awesome to see uh, the cheerleading squad here leading the cheers. Getting the fans. On the orange out day, yeah. The player down here from Michigan State, the ref's gonna stop the clock and have the train staff come in. So can't see a number. Maybe so back of the head. Yeah. Ten. Oh, and there's that sub we were talking about earlier. Charlie Macheski coming out for Chris Brennan. So let's see what Chris can do. You know, he's coming off the bench for the first time in a long time. In his high career. energy. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> I'm excited to see it. Good to see the Michigan State player walk that one off. Looks to be all right. Oh boy, you'd like to see uh, the advantage played there, I would think. Yeah, but I think BG's all right with just setting up. Oh, ref's gonna stop the clock again. <laughs> Having a talking to with Zach Fisher. Maybe Zach Fisher sharing some strong opinions. I think he probably wanted, like you said, that to Play be an advantage. advantage. Yeah. yeah, ref whistled that one pretty quick. Yeah, yeah I not think the end of the world. Maybe That's a pretty good two spot. Two or three seconds, let it breathe a little yeah. more, but. I think when you're that close, you can't call it back, so you'd rather give, I don't know. That's one of those split-second decisions that's probably difficult to make. Tate, Fine. that back far post like you've, you've told us about. Oh, and Abby tries to get that one to come down. It, it just Ref like you said, yep. yeah, just like you said, Mo well, with that far post and then heads it back into the attack. That's a dangerous play. Uh, all the momentum of all the Michigan State players are going away from the goal, away and then he it. whips it back across. Right. <laughs> Cheeky pass from Chris Sullivan there. I don't know if he learned that one from you. <laughs> <laughs> good, there, good play there by Vinny Warner. Falcons going to earn a corner. Play for the yeah. corner there. Frida Falcon is in the house hyping up the fans. No, we might to have it. to open the window so she can throw some candy up here. <laughs> <laughs> this is where BG's been especially dangerous so far this year on these set piece plays. To see a good ball in here from Tate. He's going to try to whip this one in hard. Find Mo, find Abby. Abby. Yep, find your. A little too far for everyone. Goes out for a throw though, so Falcons have an opportunity to kind of lock them in. Well defended there by Michigan State. They had some good communication on the back post. It looked like their player was going to try to head that one out, but then somebody must have screamed at him and said, hey, Let it go. nobody's behind you yet. Yeah. Jensen Lukaku did a great job controlling that. Just let the ball run across his yeah. body. Eddie's on the ball. 
or <laughs> Ebby. <'Cause laughs> Ebby's on the ball. No call there from the ref. Ebby trying to get a foul. I think I was about to call him Essie. Sometimes <laughs> instead of you know we we do uh, <laughs> we do Ebby and Messi. Messi. I like that. I would, I tried to get that to uh, to stick on. <laughs> But good job there by the Falcons. It looked like Michigan State might have a fast break kind of counterattack yep. opportunity there. They get numbers right behind the ball, you see. They got all 11 back now, and then they'll start to expand and forward. Chris wants to press high. He's got all this energy. Yeah. Tom, Tom Robo, yep. He's battling down there. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. He's getting his shorts dirty. He is. Oh, boy. Wow. I thought that, that fell that, to that, number 11. Yeah, it would have been Ryan unlucky because Abby got up and won that did, really well. It just so happened to deflect off the Michigan yeah. State player's forehead. But good job by Anthony to be really alert, quick off his line. Sixteen minutes left in the half. Your score is nil-nil. Falcons attacking the southern goal, while your Michigan State Spartans attacking the north goal. A pretty balanced game so far. Yeah, Couple chances for each side. Yeah, nothing, very even game. So nothing super clear cut. I'd say the Falcons have yeah. had the better of it. Actually, I, I would agree. There's been some promising interplay between Chris Sullivan, between uh, Tate, some of those attack yeah. Charlie. Just good movement, good flow yeah. moving forward. Just would like to see a couple more chances for them, you know, moving forward. Yep. I think they'd be pretty encouraged, you know, they're hanging with, not even just hanging and surviving with the number three team. They're Two almost dictating some of the game, absolutely so. Yeah. Good job there by Anthony Moimbia to be really alert off his line. Stifles what could be a really good opportunity for Michigan State there and Spartans. Here's Peter Puglis beating somebody out wide, cutting into the middle. Finds Chris Brennan, who finds Peter back, cuts again. Good move though, good move there by the Falcons. And great hustle by Chris Brennan. Yeah, you'll never fault his hustle or his energy. Yep. So Chris will take this throw and actually go. Give it to Peter Puglisi, who's going to kind of reset, maybe switch the yep, field here. Go through, around. Uh, through Mo and Ebby. Yep. And good alertness there by Tom. He was You could hear him screaming at Peter, yep. just give me the ball. Yep. Ebby with a nice little chip pass. Yeah, cheeky chip there. Maybe tries to do a little too much. Yeah, but creative. Ball. I yeah, like that. I agree. It's going to take some creativity to crack this Michigan State defense. Uh, defense yeah. Very organized. <laughs> Zach Fisher there doing a lot of hard work in the middle. Earns a free kick there for the Falcons. He's had a great season so far. He has. He really has. We say his name a lot. We do. He's kind of the, the new Brad Makeover in that regard. Yeah. <laughs> as far as just 
Went. Putting in the shift, winning the ball, yep. up and down the pitch. Doing the dirty work. I know Coach loves that, doesn't he? Absolutely. <laughs> She's gonna look to break here. Falcons running pouring numbers back. And that was really good to prevent the, the full break yeah, there. I agree. Mo Mustafa kind of Peter, out of Peter and Mo yeah. kind of sheepdog down. style. Yeah. <laughs> he wins the ball. <laughs> That's just happy. Just not gonna outrun him or get around no, him, out muscle him. It would be really miserable playing down that right, wouldn't it, if you're it Michigan not, State not against that be <laughs> not enjoy That's a rough it. day. It's a man playing against boys. It is, yeah. We're happy he's uh, wearing he's orange wearing today. Orange. Yeah. Wearing a lot of orange. <laughs> Good shape. You can see Ebby organizing in the back. Oh. Wow, Good move there by beautiful Peter. Yeah. little techers there. Slightly surprised not to see a card uh, come out there. That's kind of Peter Puglisa's specialty, those tight little spaces. He's yeah. really nifty with his feet. It's clean and technical. W were you nip? Not megged a few times in practice. Uh, I think I got him more than he got me. Oh, really? Okay. You were more known for it. <laughs> <laughs> but he was a little freshman when I was when I was That's one of the true. Class, and so. so maybe he's be, pick, he, he's <laughs> become the teacher yeah. now. Yeah. You had to you had to take him down a peg. And here's that energy from Chris Brennan. Yeah. Kind of sparks all the Falcons to get up. Yep. Move forward. Like it's going to be another sub here for the Falcons coming in. Matt Walters waiting on the line. Wouldn't be surprised if he takes out the outside yeah. backs. He's had a good season so far. He too. has too. Another freshman. Yeah. Important to mention as well. And it's great to see these freshmen playing against third ranked team of the country. Is that just his great experience? Yeah. Uh, he's not a coach. Nichols not afraid to, to play the youth. Absolutely. Arsene Wenger style for Arsenal <laughs> when he gets him out there. 16, 17. Jack Wilshere, 16 years old, playing against Barcelona. I'm not ready to say Michigan State's that good. But they're pretty good. <laughs> it's 7.30 Eastern Standard Time, and the uh, U.S. men's team kicks off against Brazil. I think we did nine minutes ago, and uh, we wish them the best of luck. And I believe DeAndre Yedlin is in that lineup who played, if I'm not mistaken, at Crockham Stadium with Akron a couple times. Yeah. Couple times. So connections all over the place. I like him so much more now that he plays for Newcastle instead of uh, Spurs. And Akron. And Akron, yeah, no kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's like the ranking of dislike, right? When you're playing them and they're from your division, you loathe them. But once they make it further, you kind of have to respect them. For them. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Unless it's Tottenham in the championship, in the championship, <laughs> then I guess. So Tate Robertson coming out. And he's been playing high energy since the beginning of the beginning of the game. Giving him a well-deserved yeah. break. Yeah, he's been running around a lot. We're still waiting for that really magical interplay between Tate and Chris. They won't be on the same uh, field at the same time now, but you can expect they will be Absolutely. in the second half. Great tackle. Try to switch the field here. Tom Robo with the task, Mo with the task. And Mo is always up for it. Yeah, absolutely. 
Well won there by Mo Mustafa. The rain has held off so far. It's it's uh, it's nice. Happy for for the fans. We are in this cushy booth, uh, but we don't want the fans to get wet. Absolutely, we don't want them going home. No, we need the energy out here. Just under eight minutes here left in the first half. We're looking to see if BG can get a couple really good opportunities going into the half. You know. So yeah, I would, I would love to see us have some chances, not commit too much forward, though. You'd have to give a goal up yeah, before the half. Yeah, that's keep it zero. At this point, I'd like, you know, if, if there's a chance, uh, especially on the counter, great, but just don't, don't give too much up. Definitely. Opportunity for Michigan State and a free kick. Well defended. That was Zach Fisher winning the header. That was dangerous too. That was a good ball in by Michigan it State. Back on to try to get some numbers up here, try to get out of their own end. That yeah, was perfect. Right into the hands of Anthony. It was. Good, kind of a good weight on that ball though. If it had been a little lighter, it was in a good spot for yep. Michigan State. Anthony is just going to have those under control almost all the time. The balls he's had problems with this year have been positioning issues more than anything. I think le less than handling issues, just positional situations. And he'll cut those down as, as the season goes along. Oh, he's on. just such a phenomenal keeper. We are uh, spoiled to have him. Uh, absolutely spoiled to have him. <coughs> I think the list of D1 teams that would not want him on their team is, is low, if, if, not, if not any. Yeah. <laughs> Well, he lays out there just there. in case. Yeah, yeah. That was, I think that was number 11 on Michigan State. Ryan Sarakowski with the header. Yeah, just a bit wide. Problems for BG yeah. a little bit. I think Anthony had that one covered. Yeah, you know, you gotta you gotta lay out for the fans though. Sometimes you gotta make them a little more dramatic than yeah. they need to be. Yeah, you know? absolutely. Entertaining. Hard collision. I think it was pretty honest uh, coming together of players. Yeah, I definitely say that's definitely a fall on Chris. He, yeah. he he got Chris Brennan got up with absolutely no complaints there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, the players aren't upset at all. You know, they uh, they agree with the refs call. They think they it. earned it. Well, the players are slipping a little bit all over the place now. Oh, what a what a kick save from Mo. <laughs> Mustafa, Yeah. Looked like something was going to fall there for Michigan State. Yeah. Really well defended by Mo Mustafa. You know, he fell like two seconds before that. And it that. feels like the grass just suddenly slicked over. Yeah. They may put the longer spikes on it at the half. Maybe you'll see this out. Poor gold kick. Coach, giving some uh, defensive instructions, positional, I think just wants to make sure that we definitely do not give up a goal uh, here in this end of this first half. Wants to carry that, I think, very positive energy going into the second half. I agree. I think he'll be pretty pretty okay with the half. You know, yeah. obviously 0-0. Zero, zero. We'd like to have, be up a couple. But sure, sure. But, we, but we're playing the third-ranked team in the country. You know, it's, uh, I think we're playing well. Yeah. Another freshman for freshman swap there. Ike Schweiger coming into the game for Jensen Lukasku. So Jensen. He has really put in a shift, like yeah. you said. We probably haven't said his name enough. He's been working hard. Abby will look to work this up the side. There's Matt Walters. Matt Walters on the, the ball. It's taken off of it. This 
is where I'm surprised. Maybe the Falcons don't call it a, a higher press, but like we said, three minutes left, you don't want to get caught out of position pressing too high. Exactly. You'd almost be okay just going into the half like yeah. this. But Mo will play this back to Anthony. Gives him a little more than he would like to deal with, but Anthony yep. handles it well, just puts it out of the stadium. Anthony puts it up, sends puts a it souvenir, yeah. yeah. See, this is where you'd like to see the, the ball boys take it, you know, a little slower, maybe <laughs> jog over, a little home cooking. It's and defended BG there will by have Vinny to, Warner. We'll yep. have to clear for a corner. BG has defended these pretty well so far. Boy, that was pretty good service. Yeah, and really well defended there by Tom Robo. Yeah, it was. Good defensive header, good clearance. BG needs to find a shape again pretty quick. Yeah, and it does. I think maybe that deflected offside. Yeah, no, another corner. Yeah. See if they can get another similar service, Michigan State. That was a really good ball, whipped in. It was great, a lot of whip. In swinger, yeah. Yep. Those are tough for the, the goalie to deal with because it's hard to get a read in. Where the ball's it's coming go. in, yeah. Well, oh, there's nobody short. They're gonna take this. Michigan State put a lot of people on the line. And well punched by Anthony Mumbia. Oh, you'd love to see. See if they can't just get out of this without. Ball falls to Chris Brennan and they'll dump it on I yet. like that. Don't try to counter, just get rid of the ball. Get some numbers up. They need yeah. to get some shape here. A minute left in the half. Michigan State putting some pressure on. Talented uh, cheer squad here, giving them the energy they need to see this last 45 seconds out. But uh, Michigan State with all the chances yeah, right now. They're going to get one more corner, it looks like, before the half here. That was a tough call. It looked like the AR on the far side said goal kick, and then the the head ref said, "Yeah, corner." You know. He signs the checks, I think. So. Yeah. That's and well Mo, dealt with. So reliable. Mustafa, yeah. yeah. Everyone's kind of holding their breath there. It's time to an Anthony. But it's this right back in. Anthony yep. punches it away. Boy, you just love to see the Falcons get out here. That should do it. A smart play there by Zachary. Just smart. puts it out for a corner. And that'll be the end of your first half here at Crockham Stadium. Your uh, Bowling Green State Falcons against the Michigan State Spartans. Nil nil. We'll be back in 15 minutes for an exciting second half to this game. Thanks for watching.
how they start the second half because it kind of felt like that last five, ten minutes, five, ten minutes or so. Michigan State was putting some pressure on. And I can tell you how they're going to start the first half over the top. That seems to be the uh, the message was to maybe test them long and, and, and uh, get some balls in the mixture. And so far it's worked. We've seen it twice. The first two long touches were, were pretty good. Tate Robinson with the throw in here. Oh, good ball. Great ball. Oh. oh, boy. Good run there by on the backside by Vinny Warner. Yeah. Bully Green threatening there early in the, in the second half. Good ball there by Tate. Kind of just clipped it over everyone. BG starting the second half the same way they started the first. Kind of an interesting strategy, too, because you see Charlie Macheski's playing forward. I think that's a little uncharacteristic. Yeah, you see, you see him as in the more of the facilitator role or kind of a holding role. Yeah. I guess that would be the box to box. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Peter with a Some fancy with footwork. A fancy yeah. work, but, but put to good effect, not just for, uh, for the optics. It was productive. See what Ebby can do with the ball here. He is uh, not shy about pushing forward. Oh, it's pinned back a little bit. Then he kind of slips there, but it worked out pretty yeah, well. Yeah, let's call that like a like a like a dummy. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> a slip dummy. So Falcons with a lot of the ball to start the second half. Encouraging sign coming out of halftime. We know Coach Nichols is uh, knows how to knows how to tweak things. He's been doing this for a while. Knows how to adapt, get the best out of his team. Charlie, Charlie battling there. Yeah, kinda, pushed I, a little bit. Yeah, I don't know. I, I'm on Charlie's side there. I thought that was a ball. Cleared for a corner by Bowling Green, uh, I believe. Number two, Vinny that Warner. Two, Vinny yep. Warner, and just needed to see that away. No messing around. He said, we'll deal with the corner. As Not opposed to seeing what we'll uh, try to yeah. keep possession and try to build it yeah. out there. Smart play from him. And it shows the trust he has in his, in his center backs. Mo has really been dominant in uh, clearing these corners. And as we said, that kind of the commentator's jinx there. Yeah, it comes False. in low. <laughs> False uh, I should have waited until <laughs> that was done. But hey, no goal. Right, yeah. <laughs> we'll deal with it. We'll deal with it. Oh, we've got some. We've got some Michigan State fans in attendance, making their voices known. And well defended there by the Falcons. Just get people out. Yeah, we appreciate uh, the uh, Spartans fans making the trip down in the rain. And now the uh, Falcon faithful have their turn. A lot louder than the Michigan State. Yeah, one. but some yeah. good uh, back and forth between the fans. It's good to see. I think uh, we'll see that intensity mirrored in the second half here as both teams start to get uh, serious about finding that goal. Charlie and Tate kind of working together in a press, forcing the send the ball long. Tom Robles had a good game back there, the right yeah, center back, just winning that header every time it seems like. Michigan State threatening here. Anthony never really troubled, but that ball had some spin on it with the with, with the, the grass uh, being a little yeah, wet. A little wet. Yeah. That was well taken. Yeah, 
Evie with a fantastic yeah, just pass. Laid off to, to Zach Fisher. Finds Peter Puglisa wide. So beautiful where I see passing Peter just run at people. beautiful yeah. long passing. Charlie on the overlap. Lux to play Charlie's feet. Finds Peter back. Maybe a little too precious there with the uh, with the pass, but pinning the pinning the Spartans back. Let's see if the Falcons can take advantage of position here. Zach Fisher working hard. Picked up by Benny Warner, finds Chris Sullivan's feet. Looking to run at some players here. Chris gliding past a few players. Oh, and if Charlie just could have tried it. Yeah, you saw what more. Charlie was yeah, trying to do. That's what he's trying to do. I like it. Creative. Evie lets that run through. Well, he saw something that I didn't there because I thought that would have been a no information on state. So. Oh, bad giveaway there by Momo Safa, but he makes up for makes it. Makes up for it. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> And he walks it all the way back to his keeper. You see Mo kind of just puts his hand up there. Yes. So that's my bad, everyone. Yep. But he does a good job of, good he, instead of putting his head down and complaining about his mistake, he picks it up and moves on. Yep. That's just great leadership. Nice little stretch of passing from Michigan State here. Fans having fun with each other, chanting out here. I love to see that. Michigan State probing here. They're going to try both sides. Falcons well organized. It's going to be hard work to get through. They got almost. They got ten people behind the ball. The only people. Just right, I guess well not. Around. Oh, good ball there. Uh, Michigan State finds Michigan a header. State, yep. Good service. Well executed header. I don't know if there was a lot Anthony knew about that. So the Michigan State Spartans find a goal with 37, uh, with 37 minutes left in the second half. And we'll see how the Falcons respond here. Still plenty of time. That was a really good ball there by it number was five. Fantastic service. Michael yeah. Pimlot. Yeah, he put it right on, I think it was number 11's head. Ryan Sierkowski. We've said his yeah, name a lot have. tonight. Yeah, he's been, he's been dangerous. Yeah, that was a really good ball. Let's see how the Falcons respond. Also, beautiful interplay here between Charlie and Peter. Peter going to be waved for offsides. I'm sure those calls have not gone the way uh, Gigi would have liked. But still, uh, positive response to, uh, to give it up a goal there. Again, Falcons deal with that well. Chris Sullivan does a great job of finding Tate out wide to keep the attack going. Tate looking for Charlie down the wing. Good job there by Charlie Macheski. Kind of gets his body in front of the Michigan State player. Picks up a foul in a pretty critical spot here. Definitely not a shooting set piece, but really dangerous spot. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe yeah. From low, low's gonna come up.
Boy, this would be a wonderful goal here. Look for Mo to be really active. Yep, look to see Tate really put some mustard on this one. Good ball. Oh, and he does. He puts a lot of mustard in. And Tate is giving great service. You yeah, that's just unlucky. That didn't fall to BG head. Service. Yep. A couple Falcons there battling for the second Jensen ball. Jensen Lukaku put a good header back in for a second try. Falcons will try to slow down the counter here a little bit. And they do. There's Mr. Reliable, Zach Fisher, picking up the ball. Oh, and a little hop. Looking to find Tate. Tate's going to be offside. Oh, boy, that flag. Frustrating. I like that from Zach Fisher, you know, playing that center defensive mid roll. Playing pretty aggressive there. Steps in, wins a key ball for the Falcons. Kind of propels them forward, launches their attack. A good early ball there by Charlie Macheski as well, trying to find Tate. Just like to see him hold his line a little one second longer. A good response so far after giving up the goal. You know, the yeah, Falcons, positive. Yeah, no, they didn't put their head down. Nope. And Abby might want to might want to put things on it. <laughs> might want to put the game on his back like he's prone to do sometimes. Takes a pretty hard foul to the face there. Thankfully, he looks to be okay. He's just going to walk that one off. It looks like he took a knock to the to the nose or something there. Well, they're going to call that against Morgan. I thought that uh, might go our way. Peter Pugliese kind of dives and heads that one yeah. out. Concedes the corner to Michigan State. Yeah, that's a quick judgment call. He just felt like, again, better to deal with the corner than the aftermath of losing, yeah. the, losing the ball in a bad position. You'd almost like to see maybe Anthony come and go grab that one. Yeah. Like you said, it's a judgment call. It's a tough one for him to see. Better safe than sorry. And BG has done well with corners, so they, you know, they probably feel like they'd rather take their chances. Great save. Great Ryan. save there. Yeah, that was definitely going to go in. Big time save, keeping the Falcons in the game. Michigan State looking pretty dangerous there on those two corner pieces, corner set pieces. First one really well saved and defended there by Anthony Morambio. The second one just barely over the bar. Falcons make the first substitution of the half. They pull Charlie Macheski who's playing up, up top, playing forward, bringing in Chris Brennan. Tom Robel continues to put in a, a great shift today. But Michigan State definitely growing into the game, feeling more confident in attack. We can see why they're a uh, very highly ranked team. Good defensive stand there by Abby Akan. Said his name a lot tonight. See if the Falcons can't build some possession out here. Well, this is a little really nice interchange passing here. And look for Chris to get on his horse if you can't find a. Uh, Chris Brandon kind of just putting his head down, doing what he does best. Say, hey, get out of my way or foul me. <laughs> Thank you. 
Dangerous position here for the Falcons. Yep, Chris and uh, Tate both talking about it. Looks like Chris will take it. Be a little low, but the, the uh, oh, dear foul. boy, that was a real opportunity too. So, uh, good service. Yeah. kind of those ones where the goalie's almost always going to get that call when he yeah. goes up, you know? Yeah, that's probably how it should be. He gets ridden over his back a little bit, but here's Chris Brennan with the ball, and he loves it. Boy, the uh, flag, flag will yeah. just not stay down for the Falcons today. It's really frustrating. It's really frustrating. Michigan State fans giving us a little hard time. The flag has been up a lot, I will say that. State plays a questionable ball out of the back here, but looks like they'll be able to uh, get out. Good job there Tom by Tom Robles just to see job. that one yeah, out. Yeah, bodies, bodies up. Rough call is a goal kick, but if the Michigan State player would have won it up with that ball, they would have called a foul. Yeah. It's kind of all over his back. Yeah. These next 10 to 15 minutes or so are really going to be crucial for the Falcons, see if they can't get a couple of chances just to get some momentum going. Michigan State doing what they do best. You know, they get that early goal, and they're very organized defensively. Yeah. So they're tough to break. Just need Chris and uh, Tate to... Keep an eye on the linesman. Chris Good Brennan hustle, just yeah. such a hustler. If he could put a whip a ball across the goal, boy. He had some, uh, had some runners there. You almost would have liked to see him just kind of elect to play that one in. Yeah, take a, take a shot. Sullivan gets taken down on the far side of the field. We've seen this spot a lot of times so far tonight. We have. This, this free kick, so. Look to see if the Falcons can't get something going forward. You know, they're still looking for their first shot on goal tonight. What a better time than right now. One for one would be great. <laughs> Good ball in. Oh, oh boy. Just really good ball in there, right there. Yeah. Look for Mo to work it back out to Peter. Peter just trying to get some service, but pretty easy. Yeah. Easy pickings there for the MSU goalkeeper. That's Jimmy Haig. Yeah, we one. haven't had to say his name a lot. Although yeah. he's given good distribution, I will say that as well. Being a keeper is not all about the saves, it's about setting up the. Uh, 
the attack sometimes as well. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Well in there by Jensen Lukaskiw. And this is where Chris can just be relentless, winning those aerial balls against players <laughs> three, four inches taller than him. Just tenacious. Well done. Yeah, really well that was Donald crucial. Bowman. Let's see if the Falcons can flip this. That trying it for uh, that was good to run. Yeah, it was a good run there. Just keeping Michigan State center to backs kind of honest, make yeah. sure they're staying away. Well dealt with there. Falcon's gonna set up for a long throw here. It looks like. Been dangerous on these throughout the season. Have, yeah. Oh boy. Good distance. Just uh, maybe not quite the pace headed towards goal. Right. Pretty, pretty easily taken care of. Oh, could pick a pocket here. Yeah, ball See ball. if he could find Chris. Tay's gonna have one. Oh, oh good boy, save that's there a by fantastic save. save. Good save. We like to see that Tate, you know. Absolutely. Make, the second he picks that one up, obviously an error on Michigan State side. He was just running at their center back right away. And that's something that, that Tate and Chris are known for, is capitalizing on those areas in the middle of the park yep. and then just being absolutely clinical finishers. That was a great save there. Yeah, really Kick right. save. Tate kind of just delayed, 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 just looking for that angle. He did, and I was... Uh, I kind of didn't like it, but he, it, he felt like he had a great shot picked out. Like you said, just a great save. I think maybe he was trying to get the keeper to commit a little early. Yeah, the goalie did a good job just staying, yeah. staying big. Yep. Good throw. Ebby will... Uh, Ball falls to Vinny. He has a go. This is better from the Falcons. It is. Peter with good service into Charlie. And, Oh, oh boy! Wow, it, Falcons are threatening absolutely. That was flicked on there by Charlie Macheski. It kind of fell to Mo Mustafa. It ended up having to be Jimmy Haig, the Michigan State goalkeeper, that had to punch that one out. And now he's, we just said we had said his name, and now it's uh, his name's all we're saying. Yeah, the Falcons. Uh, three. We went from zero shots on goal to three in prolific in attack. Less than yeah. a minute. Yeah. Yeah. With 22 minutes left, we'll see if the Falcons can uh, make something quick. It's all kind of coming from this type of situation, like a set piece, a dead ball, a long throw, yeah. something like that. Yeah. They've been dangerous, and it's been a lot of Mo Mustafa. Oh, and I love that he take, that uh, Tate took that first time, first touch, yeah. Which is hard with all the spin on the ball. Let's see. This is where you'd love to see a press in unison with the ball back. And Michigan State does a great job of getting out. The yep. Ball goes out. Good job by the Falcons just to, yeah. you know, they have them kind of pinned in their end, try to keep Michigan State back. And we'd love to see this just keep this pressure on. Yep. Oh, what a beautiful control from from Tate there. Very uh, bird camp esque. <laughs> In the air. Great control to uh, retain possession. A little too far, a little yeah. Too far. Michigan State making a couple changes. And you wonder if switching the throw in there is almost just, hey, let's just give us a, 30 seconds here to uh, catch our breath. Kind of the Falcons have really been, yeah. been attacking hard. Yeah, ever since the goal, it's been a great response from the Falcons. But ultimately, still missing that end goal. Of yeah. Put one in the back of the net. Boy, Ebby with a booming header. We'll call that a punt. <laughs> <laughs>
Falcons playing with some great energy right now, trying to win the ball back. They sense that there's a real opportunity. And they just got to be careful not to commit too many numbers for it. Yeah, you definitely don't want to give up a second goal. And that's Tom Solid, Robo, yeah. yeah. Wow, well, he's having a great game. Chris Brennan asked to do a lot to keep that ball against two defenders. Nice little string of possession here by the Spartans. Yeah, I think they're happy to kind of probe the edges. Uh, if something doesn't uh, appear quickly, they're happy with the one they'll lead to. Uh, I think they're happy right the now field. to kind of just put their foot on the ball a little yeah. bit. And the Falcons were coming down their throat a lot there. They were yep. happy just to take a little break. Yep. As we say that, they play it out of bounds, and we <laughs> will get to restart their attack. Has uh, held off so far. We've been lucky with that. I like that play from Mo. He purposely kind of dummied, pretended, it, yeah, yeah, and then let it run. Let it ride to Anthony. Yep. He really does play like a like a like a vet out there. Yeah, you know, he, uh, seasoned veteran for sure. Yeah. There's Chris, one of those headers against uh, opponents that are much taller, just wants it more, stronger. Just like to see BG pick up that second ball after he yeah. wins it. Yeah. That'll be Abby. Fantastic for Abby to learn that, and they're just stronger than everyone else. Oh, beautiful pass too. Oh, he passed to himself. <laughs> so a beautiful little string of play there set off by Abby just being relentless on the ball. Yep. And he'd like, I'd like to see Bowling Green just commit a few body, more bodies forward. He needed a goal. You know, I know you don't want to get caught out there, but yeah. I'd like to see us capitalize on the momentum and just say, hey, let's go, you know. Well Great in there by Mo, yep. Mo. Good corner to deal with here, though, for Bowling Green. Good service for the Spartans. Uh, Comes a bit, but quickly get another chance. And boy, that was a knuckleball. Yeah, kind of sliced at that, that one. Was that was move, number moving five around on in the air. State. Yeah, Michael Pimlot. Falcons running out of time, but still 15 minutes left here. Got to get that first one before he can get the second. Look to see if Anthony can't find Chris Brennan's head here on the goal kick. Worst foot. That works <laughs> Good job by Chris up to that point just to kind of keep possession. Yeah. So he's trying, trying, trying to find Charlie, a little ambitious. An 
Eddie will head it out the back for a corner. I think that was kind of a tactical miscommunication there between uh, Ebby and Mo. Yeah, he's trying to do anything he could to not give up a throw, yeah. trying to head it back to Mo. Just I'm not quite sure it needed to be a corner, but. Yeah, made a little bit more of it than it had to be. Corner kick, Michigan State. Block in there by Vinny Michigan Warner. State it like, yeah. took a rebound. It took a big rip. And Michigan State piling on the corner. Is this going to be their 13th corner of the game? It's wild. But all handled reasonably yeah, well. I agree. And another. Defend, yep. <laughs> that was Ebby Khan there on the front post doing everything he can to win a header for BG. <laughs> Anthony called into service. Oh, loose ball and it goes over the over the goal. Oh, for a goal kick as well. Brazil game is uh, in the 28th minute. The U.S. is uh, down a goal to Brazil by way of R Roberto Firmino. We know that you're watching this game and not that game, so we'll give you an update every once in a while here. <laughs> so both teams need a couple goals, basically. Oh, Mo with a great clearance up the side. Really the winner can't quite control that one. Creative ball there by Mo. Really creative, yeah. That was awesome. Maybe he shouldn't be playing center back. Put yeah. him up top, that's what he's telling Coach. Well, I'd, tell, I'd, tell, up top. I'd say the same thing about Ebby. <laughs> there in the middle of the park by Jensen. Uh, well back by Michigan State, but falls uh, kindly to the foot of Mo. Falcons getting a little sloppy here with yeah, possession. Yeah, a little sloppy with the passing. minutes here left in the half. BG, look to see them kind of start pouring some numbers forward here. Yep. Maybe after this last substitution, they'll pull more of a defensive role type of player, bring on an attacking player, try to see if they can't throw some numbers forward. Yeah, I'm always interested to see what happens if you push Ebby a little further up the pitch. Um, Maybe like for like sub for somewhere else and then maybe take a midfielder off, put another center back in and then move it. I don't know. Yeah. Just he's so good on the ball and he's so strong. Sometimes you feel like he doesn't quite get enough touches in the back. Obviously what he gives on set pieces and things like that, it makes him valuable, but you wish we could clone him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We love him to play both uh, <laughs> both parts of the pitch. So number 22, Chris Sullivan subs in for no number 10, Chris Brennan there. Kind of an attacker for attacker swap. Oh, 
Flag stays down. Michigan State in a goal. Oh, oh, kind of the back of the net. Clinical finish there by number five. That was one. because uh, number six. Anthony had really shut down that. Got big, and I didn't. Thought he was going to maybe shoot directly on Anthony. And instead, chooses to wait. And I know there was a center back there. I don't know who it was who had a shot at it. Hard when you can't use your hands. <laughs> yeah. Correction, that was number six, Dewan Jones with the finish. So BG with a with a tall hill to climb here with 10 minutes left at home. And that was well set up by the Spartans. It, it was, they were on us before we yeah. came, before you, you, know, you called it and I didn't even see it. Very unselfish play to be on a breakaway. Kind of pulls it back, finds an open man who just passes it in to the net. Yeah, very unselfish play. Falls to Vinnie Warner here. He finds Chris Brenner. Oh, Chris would love to try to skate past two players. Like a pretty professional foul there. Yeah, that was, that was a smart foul by Michigan State. Just realize, you know, they can slow the play down. Yeah, they can afford a card or two if it would have come to that late in the game. The PG is going to get back in the play. game here. They're going to need one now. quick. Yeah. yeah. See what Tate can deliver here. Foul called there on Vinnie Warner. Oh, maybe they're gonna, no, they're gonna call foul. I thought for a second they were gonna change it to a throw in. Yeah, I thought so too. Ball there by Jensen yeah, Lukasu. Which I'd love to see. Oh, finds Chris Brennan. Well defended. Well defended by Michigan State. Yeah, and it goes out for a corner. Yep, they're gonna they're gonna set up for a corner here. Boy, you'd think we just sent That was a good little break here. there, yeah. yeah. Jensen finds Chris Sullivan, who finds Chris Brennan. Really quick turn events. Chris just didn't get enough the ball from underneath his foot to get a shot out there. Yeah. But corner kick nonetheless. Oh boy, gosh! And the Falcons just cannot find the cannot last. Cannot find that last. Just good service. Yeah, a good ball fell to Chris Sullivan. He whipped that one back in cross. Just can't find anybody's head right now. And that's Abby. Gets up well for a corner. Gets up well for the header. Figure one of these the is fall. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> BG needs one of them soon. Yeah, it goes out the back for a goal kick.
stop was slow to get up. Slow to get back. Possibly cramped up, but he will be there in time. Slow roller for Anthony. Yeah. Probably feel like they could have done better there. Falcons leaving as many numbers for as they can, but they've got to start putting some people on top if they want to get back in this game. Yeah. And that's not going to help either. To get the ball away. Yeah, give it up really quick. This is where you'll see Michigan State be more than happy just to put their foot on the oh yeah foot on the ball and switch the field a lot. Just make the Falcons kind of chase the game a little bit. Yeah, and, and good teams know how to kill off games. to play the free kick pretty quick there. So quick, yeah. EG won't complain about that. No. Maybe going to see a more aggressive press here yeah. trying to win the ball back. Chris Bennett can close so quickly. Yeah, he gets flagged there for a foul. Yeah, maybe a little. A little left of his foot in there a little, a little too long. Yeah. yeah. The problem is the clock's still running, so Michigan State more than fine with that foul. Yeah, they're fine with it. They'll it down. Number six, Dewan Jones, he bags his second of the game. And look, this is the third ranked team in the nation. We're seeing why. <laughs> Michigan State doing a great job of just closing this game out. Like you said, the number three team in the country. Showing why. Absolutely. So the Falcons will look to build on some of these tough losses throughout the rest of the season. We know that we have the personnel to win. Coach has said this is one of the best uh, young groups of guys he's ever had. Uh, I think hard teams. I agree, and I think we mentioned earlier in previous games that if we're going to lose games, we'd rather lose them here, you know, in September yeah. they as were, opposed to they, October, November. They, I'll tell you, they hurt last year late, losing yeah. those late. These still feel like there's a lot of hope. We know we can play well. It was rough losing those late uh, in the season. And like you mentioned, PG with a pretty, pretty young team, so definitely getting their experience up early on in the season. Absolutely. Good test tonight. Michigan State does a great job coming into – yeah, they played really well. A hostile environment. Yep. Well, I mean, this is not a 3-0 game. I, I think everyone could agree that the yeah. score is not really, not really fair. Indicative. Yeah, I think, exactly. I think 2-1 feels probably a little more fair. Falcons probably deserved a goal. <laughs> Passing's getting a little, a little sloppier as players are... Tired legs, maybe a little frustration. Tate still, wow, 
As soon as I say that, Tate uh, pirouettes through the midfield. Probably wanted a foul there. But. Boy, I cannot believe that was given against the Falcons. <laughs> Sometimes when you have the best view on the pitch, you think, see, uh, you know, it just shows. Officials uh, a little closer to the action. <laughs> they know what's going on. And credit to the Falcons. They're not putting their head down and moping nope, about being hard. They're still running the around. Yep. Credit to their character as a team. And yeah. And it doesn't get a lot easier at Ohio State on the 11. Back to back Big Ten games. Yeah. Well, BG's shown that they can play with. Anyway, as I say that, good opportunity there. Well out by Ebby. Great clearance by Ebby. Yeah, Ohio State's a big test. It'll, it'll be a huge for the Falcons to come up, you know, go on the road at a Big Ten school, a team that. Coach, a lot of these players know really yeah. well. Coach knows Coach really Eric well. Coach Eric Nichols, Coach Zach Mason both uh, both Play. played there. Yeah, Zach Mason played at a very high level at Ohio State. I think Michigan State's going to be happy just to see the clock run out here. So not the result we were looking for. Your Bowling Green Falcons fall 3-0 to the Michigan State Spartans. Uh, but a very good team, and I thought the effort was great tonight. I'm sure there's some things that Coach will like and won't like about the game. But uh, we look forward to Ohio State away. Uh, the next game at home will be Saturday the 29th versus Valparaiso, and we'll be excited to be uh, broadcasting that here from Parker Stadium. Have a wonderful weekend. And I'll say, if you are a Bowling Green, be sure to check out the Black Swamp uh, Arts Festival downtown this weekend. We will see you soon. Go Falcons.